Air racing was born in the 1920s. Year after year, these home-built racers broke speed records and showed to the nation that flying was safe. These air races were the proving grounds for many items now found standard on aircraft. Mono wing designs and retractable landing gear were introduced on racing aircraft long before civilian and military aircraft utilized these features. World War II stopped air racing in 1939, but the technology developed during the war built aircraft that today are still some of the fastest piston-engined aircraft. When air racing resumed in 1946, it was these warbirds who became the featured participants. These big iron birds still race in the skies over Reno, but after more than 40 years, the potential for development of these warbirds has peaked. For years, these aircraft have featured modifications to canopies, wingtips that have been clipped, and engines that have been changed. But the question is, how much can you do to an aircraft design that is approaching its half-century mark? To increase speeds, something totally new would have to be developed, something that would utilize the latest in technology. In 1979, industrialist John Sandberg set out to build a new racer. Designed by Bruce Bolin, a Lockheed engineer, this racer would be known as Tsunami. More than six years of work were required to build this racer. In May of 1986, final assembly began at Steve Hinton's Fighter Rebuilder's shop at Chino Airport in California. Thank you. 
the Tsunami crew worked long hours, seven days a week, to get the aircraft flyable. On Sunday, August 17th, Tsunami was ready for its first flight. Steve Hinton served a double role in the development of Tsunami. Besides building the aircraft, he also served as the pilot. Throughout the rest of August, daily flights were made in Tsunami. As the flight test system progressed, changes were made in some of the aircraft systems.
As the Reno Air Races approached, Steve Hinton was satisfied with the handling and performance of Tsunami. It was then that the paint job was applied to the aircraft and it was ready to go race. Tsunami's participation in the 1986 Reno Air Races marked the first time that a home-built had raced in the unlimited class since 1939. Steve Hinton qualified Tsunami at 435 miles per hour to earn the third fastest qualifying speed. Friday's heat race marked Tsunami's very first race. Steve held back and with each lap gained experience in this new racer. As his confidence grew, Steve was able to pull up and move into third place. Unfortunately, Steve wasn't able to stay there long as the generator failed, forcing Steve to throttle back and finish the race at the rear. Electrical and mechanical problems plagued Tsunami on Saturday and Sunday, forcing it out of both races. Although Tsunami's participation in the 1986 Reno Air Races was not successful, the fact that it was there racing was a major milestone. Tsunami's future is filled with challenges. The future will bring speed record attempts and more air racing. The dedication that built Tsunami will carry on and allow Tsunami to conquer the many challenges the future will bring. <laughs>